Hello, everybody, and welcome to a Haskell or Haskell or whatever his name is, Hexbane painting tutorial. First off, as always, I want to thank all my YouTube members for all of your charitable donations to helping keeping this channel alive because it does take a lot of time and energy. But I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, pretty easy tutorial, nothing crazy. But without further ado, let's go. After priming your miniature, well, I am building it in white, Corax white, we're going to take some Kachikan flesh and put it onto the face of our miniature. Next, for the hat, we're going to use some dried bark just all over the hat. If you get onto the red areas where the band is at, not a problem at all. For the red band around the top of the hat, or middle of the hat, I guess you could say, we're going to use some World Bearers Red. For all of our dark black areas in the coat, including the front and the arms as well, we're going to use some Black Legion. Take your time on this. Go to a smaller brush on the front as well. Once that is completely dry, we're going to use some Dawnstone on a dry brush to create our highlights for this, and that's basically all we're doing for the coat portion. For the pants, we're going to use some Gal. Vorback red just on the front pants and the inside make sure you get the inside as well so when you turn the miniature you don't have to see any white for our leather pieces we're going to be using some Mornfang brown there's going to be the hands some of the pouches that our hexbane has and some of the little areas just follow along with what I'm painting. For all of our metal areas to include the shoulder pads and the portions of the long guns and belt buckle, we're going to use some lead vulture.
for the holsters on the guns we're going to use some Doombo brown now you can probably see in the video that it's very transparent that white is sticking through I did a couple layers of this just to kind of darken them just a little bit For the backpack, we're going to use some steel Legion drab. For the wood areas on our long guns, we're going to use some Gorthor Brown to give it that wood effect. For the stakes on Hexbane, we're going to use some Xandri dust and then a little piece on the back with the hammer. For the top of the hammer or the stone part, I guess you could say, we're going to use some Mechanicus standard. For the wood portions on our torch, we're going to use some wild wood, which is a contrast paint. And to make our flames nice and easy, we're going to use some iron. And for our last base color, we're going to paint the shoes uh, with ceramic side. Now on to the wash step, we're going to use Agrax or Shade on all of our brown and wood areas. You can also use this on the red pants as well, but we're focusing on the brown areas to give it that depth that we're looking for, as I call it, liquid talent. For all of our metal pieces, we're going to use some new Nolan oil. Um, you can also use that Agrax for shade on the face as well.
Now to start our highlight phase, we're going to do a reapplication of catch can flush. Again, don't go into the recesses, we're just doing the raised areas of our range. Next to brighten it up, we're going to do a 50-50 mix of catch can flush, flush and a night quester flush. And we're going to start doing it on the raised areas as well. Things that you can see. I'm keeping the eyes dark because he does have a hat on, so we want to keep those eyes in the shadow. Next, a 50 50 mix of Cadian Flesh Tone and Night Quester Flesh. You can do in the same areas to brighten up a little bit. And then finally, for the face, we're going to do some pure cutie and test flesh tone. And I cannot talk to that. And we'll just brighten up with the bridge of the nose, a little bit on the cheekbones, and on the chin. For the brim of the hat, we're going to be doing this vein uh, blend. And to highlight our backpack on the back, we're just going to do reapplications. And you're just not going in the recesses, just doing the erased areas and doing it very lightly. For the red band around the hat, we're going to use some Evil Sons of Scarlet. And to highlight up all of our metal areas, we're going to use some Iron Breaker. This is all the metal areas just to get it done in one foul swoop. We're going to go back to that Xander dust and just highlight up the stakes on Hexbane's chest. Followed by highlighting up the brown areas of our leather with some Gorthor brown. Just doing kind of an edge on this just to give it some highlights. For the wood portions of our guns, we're going to use some Bane Blade Brown.
and the highlight of the leather, especially on the hand, we're gonna use some scrag brown. You can also use this on the brown leather, on uh, the belt and everything else, but it's up to you. I really just stuck to the hands on this. Now for the pants, we're just going to do one application of Tuscor first to brighten up just a little bit. And to make the flames just a little bit more realistic, we're going to use some Adorn Yellow just on the flame areas. For our hammer, we're just going to do a little bit of edge highlighting with some Menstruatum Gray. And that concludes all of the parts on the actual miniature, but now let's do the base. We're going to do the base and Mechanica Standard Gray. Probably need two to three coats on this. followed by some Nolan oil. Once completely dry, we're gonna hit it with a dry brush of Dawn Stone on there. And then another dry brush of the Minestrato Gray. Coming down to the wire here, we're going to start with some more gas bone on that nice femur bone that we got right there. I'm assuming it's a femur bone. Followed by some skeleton four as a highlight, and then a reapplication, just a little bit of that more gas. And finally, the favorite part of painting this miniature, because it means we're done, is the rim. And I'm doing black, you can do it in gray if you want, but I'm doing black. Well, there it is. A little bit longer than I anticipated it was going to be. Uh, Hexbane is, if you put this miniature together, you know it's a pain in the butt. You know, it's not exactly fun, um, but we got through it. The torch also broke on me while putting it together, so that was fun because I had to re it back in there. Uh, well, thank you so much for watching this video. We're going to continue pumping these videos out every week and try and get some more every other week, whatever we can. Uh, but give me, uh, give me a like, give me a subscribe. If you want to donate to the channel, that'd be awesome too. Can't thank you guys enough for all the views and watches and comments you guys leave. Well, until next time, paint on.